Over a 25-year period, the Wimmera Development Association has become a regional institution in the Wimmera, working with councils, businesses and communities to improve the regional economy. Currently auspiced by Hind Marsh, Northern Crampians, West Wimmera, Yarriambiak Shires and Horsham Rural City Council, the association works closely with regional organisations and government agencies to progress economic and community development on behalf of the region. The greatest achievement uh, in my time as chair, which is relatively new, would, uh, would undoubtedly be the, uh, the weather radar. Uh, this has been on the radar for quite some time and uh, this year finally uh, the, both the federal and state governments funded it. So uh, it will be a great asset for the, uh, for the region uh, in time to come. On the 31st of May 1990, the full Wimmera Development Association Board of Management met for the first time, with members including council delegates, community representatives and regional industry leaders. WDA was formally incorporated on 22nd January 1991. Since incorporation, over 100 board members have represented regional interests, improving the economic and community development of the region. The WDA started in 1991 and I arrived in 90, 1995. I appreciate the WDA started up before the restructure of local government and the amalgamations. And I came here uh, into the system as a commissioner from West Wimmera. I, a tower of strength in that early days, I think, was Stuart Petering, who unfortunately passed away recently. But Stuart was the, the visionary, one of the visionaries, and probably that, that put it out there that, that the pipeline was needed. And I think we've got to pay a lot of tribute to, to Stuart for that, for that visionary outlook. WDA has been instrumental in shaping the region by attracting investment and government programs to the Wimmera. The foresight of our regional leaders to establish an organisation to focus on regional development and cooperation over 25 years ago has paid dividends. Development groups in other regions have been and gone during this time as different state and federal government policies and programs were implemented. Wimmera Development Association really is about working cooperatively to achieve sustainable development of the region, working with the five municipalities, community groups, educational institutions and others to uh, review the ideas and concepts that people have for improving the uh, diversity of industry and the opportunities to keep people within the area and education, training and employment are significant components of that and WDA will continue to work with those communities to achieve outcomes that everybody will be comfortable with and happy with. WDA has weathered shifts in government priorities based on our strong regional network and cooperative efforts to achieve positive outcomes for the region. The achievements of WDA are built on the strong links and common interests of groups within the region, driven by a board representing those interests. WDA has also played a significant role in the development and advocacy of key regional projects and issues. For example, Wimmera Mallee Pipeline Project, Wimmera Intermodal Freight Terminal at Doohan, Strategic Regional Planning, Mineral Sand Mining Exploration and Development, Regional Marketing Initiatives, Drought Planning, and representation to governments on proposed business investment and broad community issues. One of the big achievements of WDA, I believe, is the Wimmera Mallee Pipeline. Um, Wimmera Development Association uh, is a very, very regional organisation and uh, the Wimmera Mallee Pipeline is head and shoulders above anything else that I believe has happened in the Wimmera in, the, in their 25 years of WDA. The benefits of skilled migration to the region are many. WDA has auspiced the Australian Government Skilled Migration Program for several years, matching employment vacancies in regional businesses with skilled migrants wanting to settle in regional Australia. The program has provided economic benefits to the participating businesses as well as building on the cultural diversity of the region. One of the most successful uh, partnerships in recent times um, has been uh, built around settlement services. So through Skilled Migration and the Settlement Grant Program, uh, Wimmera Development Association has been able to support uh, the work and lifestyle uh, activities of migrants coming to our region, uh, enabling them to settle more um, successfully uh, in the Wimmera. 
These programs have actually changed the cultural face of our community um, and uh, we're really proud of the work that uh, the officers have done uh, as well as the volunteers that have been trained in the community. Leadership Wimmera commenced in 2002 and is a highlight for WDA. Led by a separate community-based board, the leadership program has provided training for more than 480 participants to date and established a very positive reputation. Providing training for business and community leaders, the program is an investment in local people for the future development of the Wimmera. Certainly the, you know, the infrastructure projects including the Wimmera Mallee Pipeline, the Wimmera Intermodal Freight Hub, you know, would have to be some of the iconic infrastructure projects that um, were funded during that, during that period um, between 2000 and 2010. Also, the uh, development of Leadership Wimmera, um, those early times of looking for funding to support the program, uh, the support from the state government and its ongoing support through the, across the whole region, I think um, Leadership Wimmera has been one of the, again an iconic um, development for for, for people across the whole region. WDA has promoted regional networking opportunities to strengthen business in the region. Wimmera Grains Cluster has brought together supply chain businesses in the grain sector, investing export opportunities, product development, partnership prospects and information sharing. The mining cluster has sought to increase opportunities for regional businesses through building the capability to provide subcontracting services. The Building Resilience and Farming Network has brought the agricultural sector and local councils together to share information, highlight opportunities for the region and promote career pathways within agriculture. One of the more successful partnerships um, in recent times has been with Longanong Agricultural College. Uh, so with the uh, advent of the Bayer investment in the region, uh, the whole region worked with Longanong College to attract Victorian government funding for infrastructure up upgrades to support the Bayer investment. And following on from that, the um, grants from both the federal and state governments to upgrade the accommodation uh, out at Longanong. Agriculture is the biggest economic driver in our region. Longrenong is an important asset and uh, it's great that they're part of our regional partnerships. The Wimmera Business Awards have been held every two years since 1996. They are a regional highlight offering great opportunity to businesses to promote their activities. The awards showcase innovations and provide an independent review of business strategy. The presentation evening is an opportunity to network with other leading enterprises within the region demonstrating the diversity of business in our region. The WDA, in my opinion, is probably one of the most powerful groups that exists in this part of Western Victoria. Today, it's not only recognised in Victoria, it's recognised the length and breadth of the East Coast because the partnerships that, we've, that have been created between the different municipalities, that just goes to build more strength on top of strength that's already there. Ace Radio and the Hanbury family have provided generous financial and corporate sponsorship to WDA since 1999. The partnership has proved to be very successful, demonstrating the benefits for WDA of working closely with such a key regional organisation, enabling WDA to address regional scale issues. The Hanbury family and Ace Radio has contributed to many regional business and community projects and continue to be recognised for their philanthropy. The greatest achievement for WDA during my time as chair was, I believe, the fact that we were able to uh, get the cooperation of all the regional councils uh, to become a, a regional development organisation. Um, initially, uh, Horsham Rural City Council were, were pretty keen to uh, establish their own, but following the search conference and um, Realising that Horsham was the, was the centre of the Wimmera and that all business probably was going through Horsham, uh, we were able to convince the municipalities uh, to come on board. Other key partners supporting the objectives of WDA over the years include GWM Water, PowerCore, Bendigo Bank, Telstra Countrywide, University of Ballarat, now Federation University and Wimmera Uniting Care. The work of the Wimmera Development Association continues.